Hey, what's up, my gente? It's your girl, Tori, indeed, Vata Vagu and TV, with our very special guest, long overdue, Danny yes. Ray. Yay! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me. No, thank you. Thank you. This is long overdue. You know, well, yes. I know, and everybody should know that you are an all-around creator, singer, songwriter, and... Um, yeah, you're pretty much insane. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically, yeah. <laughs> well, as I mentioned before, I'm a creator and I claim insanity. So yeah. I kind of want to dive into everything because I know you yourself are geared towards the underdogs, the the ones with talent, but who struggle to find their voice, right? And yeah. you actually have a platform of your own where you interview such individuals where they demonstrate their arts, their their craft right that's their safe yes. place that you created but yes. for you yes. it's songwriting that's your safe place Definitely. that's your music mode and your personal therapy right your personal mode of therapy so could you describe or share what your music mode experience is uh it really varies like depending project to project but i would say that majority of the time um it's just really honing in in my office space which is this one right here and just listening to something and just really catching a feeling for whatever it is that 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 particular beat or that instrumental is speaking to me and then just channeling it and really putting in the work towards just making it sound good you know and it's, it sounds so simple but it's like you know, I, it also depends on the mood too. Like if I'm in the right. mood to write, there's there's certain things that'll just come out of me that normally wouldn't come out of me verbally. I feel like with music, it gives me the the um, the platform to be more vulnerable than I probably would be in my everyday life. Right. Um, so you'll get more of the emotions, the feelings, the thought processes, that type of stuff. So that's why I consider it really my therapy is just like, I'm able to say and express things that normally I wouldn't be able to do without music behind it. I love it. I love music and it's an amazing place. When you find it, to, this is for anybody in general, once you find that Zen place, yeah. like even your atmosphere, your vibe, I feel positive energy. I'm so excited. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's been a long time. I know. It definitely, it definitely has. Um, so I know that you are passionately fueled and driven. Um, despite yeah. any hardships or obstacles, you break through them. So in order to, oh, excuse me, in order to break through any obstacles or creative blocks, what are some things or what is your process like to create new habits, break bad habits, um, quote unquote, to learn and unlearn these barriers? A lot of it has been through um, prayer. I mean, really, um, I see God first whenever I'm doing something that I am questioning as to whether or not um, it'll benefit me as a person or benefit the people that are around me. Um, I get a lot of my source of strength and and resilience from my belief and my faith. And I really honestly believe that without that, none of what I do um, would be possible. But in essence, um, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of going back and thinking about um, certain things, how I handled certain situations, where I went wrong, where I went right, where I could have right. done better. Um, just taking apart those things, you know, um, Self-awareness is really key when it comes to just understanding who you are as a person and why you do the things that you do, you know? Keyword, self. Check yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to do that a lot. <laughs> no, and checking yourself doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing either. Like, you're going to, you're going to, me personally, where I'm relating with you, is like, I check myself, the good, the bad. When you have something successful, okay, let me check myself how I did this and how I could do it better. Or yeah, yeah. where did I go wrong where I could have have some improvement? So I, I definitely um, see that you're very intuitive and um, you do check yourself. And I always, I cannot stress it enough, whether it's your personal life, work, anything, always check in with, self, with yourself mentally, right? Yeah. Um, and then also into everything, like apply that to everything in your life. Yeah, um, yeah. So your process to seek out 
opportunities, new opportunities, includes your faith, as you mentioned, intuition, yeah. networking, and you're known to connect the dots with other creators. So yeah. with, with all that being said, what are some of your most memorable or amazing experiences connecting the dots with other creators or just overall um, in any opportunity? That's a great question. I feel there's there's quite a few. It's hard I to know, pick out. I know, it's so hard to some. answer. <laughs> it, it is. It's hard. But you know what? I, I'll give you the, one of the most recent, which I'm really, like, astounded by. So about, I'd say maybe about five or six years ago, back in, like, 2015, I had the honor and the privilege of heading out to this event. Um, it was a Halloween party, ironically, and it was for the... Um, American Heart Association. There was a, a woman that was running this this party and this nonprofit party for her father in honor of her father. And she was just such a sweet woman. We connected so well. I interviewed her and a few other of the guests and the artists that were there. And make a very long story short, um, out of nowhere, years later, we remained connected through Facebook. Um, but she had seen a post about um people looking to, um, or rather someone looking for someone to sing the national anthem at the uh, Coney Island Cyclones game. And she happened to tag my name on the post. Oh, and nice. I reached out to the person, we connected, and we were we just went from there and I was able to do it not once, but twice. And it's like, you know, things like that, they really are so profound to me because it's like, you can have an impact on someone that you met five or six years ago That's and you right. don't think, you know, anything is gonna come out of it. And then years later, you hear back from them again, or rather they recommend you, which is truly like the biggest honor that you could ever oh, receive yeah. as a creator, as an artist, is to have someone recommend your work. Off of one time of meeting a person, like that was profound. I was like, wow, that's awesome. So just with her recommendation, like again, I was able to sing the national anthem twice and it was just like, wow, you know, just the power of the word of mouth, you know, and sometimes it works in our favor. And it's amazing when it does. I really appreciate those moments. And then other things like, you know, I've had some amazing friends in this industry who I've been friends with for a really long time or in some who I've just recently met. Um, my friend Nick Slay, he and I have been uh, working together both like on screen and behind the scenes for like five or six years as well. He was who I met that lady um, at the party. Oh, you see how and, it all works? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just real full circle stuff. And then uh, more recently, my friend, my good friend, Ron Solomon, another talented artist. I mean, raps, sings, does it all. And he's been amazing. He's doing some amazing and incredible things out here. So, you know, things like that really, really um, bless me, you know, um, being able to associate myself with such amazing, talented people who really have um, my best interest at heart. You don't get that too often. So it's, oh, it's no. really nice. You're absolutely right about that. And just to comment on that, I did see your post on Insta and um, I did I did um, like it. I saw that you did do that national anthem and that's an amazing experience. And I know a couple of years Thank back, you. you even shared um, one time, I think you were in a theater. It was yeah, like yeah, the people from, there. So I know, I know this is yeah, you. Like you do this. I love it. I love it. You know, singing the national anthem is just such an incredible honor, you know, especially now with all of the things that we have going on, you know, in this country. And um, it's a it's a job that I always take very seriously, no matter what, whether it's for the Hulu Theater, for MSG, whether it's for the Coney right. Island Cyclones. It's just, you know, I have to put my 100%. Wow. And how do you keep it all balanced and aligned? Uh, again, that's, that, that's another thing that I can't take credit for, you know, I have to give credit to God for, for just allowing me to do the things that I do and, and for directing my path when, whenever I go to do something, you know, it's not easy. Um, there's a lot of things that I have going on outside of the grand scheme of things that I also have to keep in control and alignment, but I don't, again, I can't even take credit for that. I can't even say that I'm controlling it because it's, it's really not the case. Um, I'm You're just, just at this glowing, point. Danny Ray. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it must be the highlight. It's really good today. <laughs> no, that just adds on to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's just I'm I'm just I'm blessed. I'm highly favored, and I I can't I can't thank God enough for the things that He's done and the things that He's allowed me to do because He literally gives me the strength to you know close doors that I don't always have the strength to close, and and He oh. gives me the gives me the strength to open doors I could not open on my own. 
by any uh-huh. means. So, you know, that's that's really it. I wish I had a better, I guess, elaborated <laughs> answer. But for me, it's really just about my faith. That's the perfect answer. So I'm going to mm-hmm. quote you on something. So sure. let's see. I hope I don't get a little tongue twisted. My craft, that's all right. <laughs> my craft is an extension of my identity. Without these means of being able to creatively express myself or connect with others, whether in media or music, I truly would lose the essence of who I am. Who is Danny Ray? Let's get into the roots of Danny Ray because I know that your yeah. roots go as far back as your childhood. And you were basically, that's where all the tunes and notes, notes and tunes all began for you, right? So let's dive into your roots. What, what would you say to somebody who you just met and just like, tell me your story? And you could do the short version if you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we'd be here all night. Um, long story short, I, I, I came from a very musical and creative background. You know, my grandfather, not many people know this story. Oh, um, I used to get I used to get made fun of for the sound of my voice a lot because for a female, I had a much deeper, sultrier tone. And my grandfather was actually the one that sat me down at a piano bench and started playing keys. And he's just like, you could sing. Like, come on, just just sing this note with me. And he would I would follow along with him. And he was right. You know, I had such a passion for music. And even though my voice was different and distinctive, I learned that it was my uniqueness that was really gonna pay off and benefit me, even when I didn't think so, even though I was made fun of for something that not many people, you know, can understand. Not many females have that type of tone right. and are, you know, that are actually out here in the industry doing it. A lot of people have very high and, you know, big voices and that's beautiful too, but there is a place um, for someone with a voice such as myself. So I had to play on that and figure out who I was and through the journey of music and being taught music. And then he introduced me to, you know, well, maybe you should be a journalist and you should interview people. Cause as far back as I can remember, I would just, I was super inquisitive as a child. I was always asking questions. I always wanted yeah. to know how things worked. I always wanted to know, you know, why did you do this? Why did you do that? You know, right. like why was one of my favorite questions still is to this day, you know, <laughs> why? Um, and why, way, you know, in a good way, because in know, a good like, way, why me? Why me? No, it's just like, no. Why? well, no, not, not necessarily no, know, why me, but like, no, no, that's what yeah, I'm it's, it's like in a good it's, way, you know, like, why? it's more like a, why do you do that? What, what makes you tick? You know, I, that's one thing. My, my curiosity, my, my inquisitiveness has never left me. And I really appreciate that. Cause that means that my inner child is still intact. And uh, I love that, you know, so in essence, (laughs) thank you. In essence, I I feel like, um, I feel like just overall, I am a creator. I love innovation. I love to just push the boundaries and not bad boundaries, let's clarify, but good boundaries of figuring out who people are, what it is that makes them tick, what it is that um, they're passionate about and sharing that passion and bringing it out, whether it be collaboratively in music or collaboratively through interviews. Right, right. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I know you are either working on currently or what's next for you includes the podcasting, nonprofit, yeah. philanthropy. Oh my gosh, I always get tongue twisted. Uh, more music, hopefully, a four, P, uh, four uh, track EP. I don't know what you yeah. have in the works currently and what's, what you know, I know you want to continue. It's with, been... Um, all over the place, honestly. Like, all right. Because so... you're a, you. First of all, let's clear the air for anybody watching. Like I yeah. mentioned, you are all around creator. So that yeah. includes hosting events, singing the national anthem, so and, mm. and acting. Don't forget relevance yeah. and uh, local legends for the vets. So I mean, tell me what you're currently working Which, on and what's I'm next. So, I'm so excited <laughs> about all of it. To be honest, like. First things first, huge shout out to the the NJVN, um, my guy, Doc Shoup. I mean, he's just an amazing vet. He really took a chance on me. You know, um, it started off as blogging. I was blogging for the NJVN, our New Jersey Veterans Network, and getting the word about, about, you know, events that they had going on. And then eventually he had the brilliant idea of putting together like a TV series. So that's one of the things that we're currently working on now, which I'm super excited about. We have the opportunity to sit down with local vets or just people in general in our communities that are really 
putting in the groundwork and laying down a, a you know a very philanthropic foundation for people in the community and really just enhancing the quality of life for people, which it just brings me so much joy to be a part of. Like I'm so thankful for him and that. Um, and it's also co-hosted by my uh, my good friend Dro. Um, you guys will meet him soon. He's an amazing, amazing vet who has a substantial amount of radio experience himself. So he coaches me through a lot of it too. Um, as for Relentless, Relentless is a web series that is coming out pretty soon. I'm not sure when, so don't ask, but <laughs> just shout out to my guy, um, my guy Jesus Ramos and the entire Gone Vision team and the cast as well. They're just an amazing, amazing cast. Um, it's an entire group of Afro-Latinos and and black creatives that are put together in this one this one show that is just super incredible i don't want to give away too many details but you don't guys can check out the trailer it. somewhere <laughs> um but it's based out of a lot of the production is based out of perth Danbury, new jersey I which you and i that. both have ties to <laughs> so it is incredible to bring that type of um creative energy to you know a home base you know right um so right. i'm really excited about that uh, I play a character named Serene, and she's kind of based a lot on who I am as a person. So it doesn't really feel like acting because it's oh, just so kind of like it's natural to you anyway. Yeah, just be Danny Ray with a different name, basically, is kind of what they said. But wow. I'm, I'm super appreciative because originally that character was not in the script at all. I had uh, auditioned for uh, the lead which I didn't get because I didn't fit that mold. But shout out to the girl who does, Francesca. She's amazing. And um, they said, you know what? We liked your interview. Like, we liked your, um, not interview, excuse me. See, I'm, I'm, I always get twisted. <laughs> your, too. Your, your audition. Um, audition. Okay. <laughs> your audition. We liked your self-audition uh, so much that we wanted to find a way to incorporate you into the series. That's so they good. actually crafted... That's yeah, they better. crafted That's out a character like, for me. Yeah, exactly. That they were like, no, we have to have Danny Ray, and we have That's to. That's awesome. And it's based on who you are, like the yes. characteristics and the personality. It's just like you yeah. were that good that, and you were. Worth I'm, it just so I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Wow. Thank you. So, thank you. So yes. Well, very well done and put together. I love it. Congratulations on everything. And you thank know, you. like, I've I've always been a fan of your work and your creativity. So yes, I, I'm just here. very happy for you. I really, really am. Thank you. Um, Thank with all you. these achievements, and I consider them milestones as well, what are some gems you would drop to someone, whether they're a creator, a singer, a songwriter? What is it that you would tell somebody? Uh, hmm. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a lot that goes into the pursuit of your dreams, right? And you and I both know this. Um, all I can really say is, is just, don't give up, you know, regardless of what the situations look like, regardless of the odds that you're facing, there's somebody that's waiting to meet somebody like you. Um, you just have to get up and show up, you know, continue to get up and show up even when you don't feel like it, even when you don't feel like yourself, just push through, you know, there's certain things that you don't think you're going to be able to survive or make it through. And, you know, there's, some people that are going to get with you and be on board. And there's some people that are not, you know, some will, right. some what, you know, who cares? Keep going. <laughs> and that's really where I've been at with a lot of it is just making sure that no matter how hard I get hit or how badly I fail at something that I just continue to get back up and keep going. And that's, that's really been it. Wow. Perfectly worded, perfectly worded. Thanks. And I could definitely I try. relate to that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Wow, very good. So fun facts. Any fun facts you want us to know about you? Um, and it could be any kind of fun fact. It could be your favorite dessert. It could be other things you do. I know you are a um, media personality as well. You do have your own platform. You're a singer. You're a songwriter. Yeah. So anything you want us to know, and then I'll let you go. Because I could, I feel like I could talk to you forever. And Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. I know. I know. We on a time limit. Um, I would say fun fact, fun fact. Ah. Uh. All right, I have two. Um, <laughs> first fun fact is that I'm left-handed. And life as a left-handed person is just weird. <laughs> so do you sit on the left side of the table if you go out to eat at a restaurant or? I have to, I have to. <laughs> like, I, and I can't, I can't eat near, um, yeah, I have to be on the left side because then if I'm on yeah. the left and then like a right person sits, it's, it's gonna... all messed up. 
it's just all it's all bad uh, it's yeah, all bad <laughs> um my favorite dessert though with that like as i'm eating i would say um either cheesecake or flan i'm a big flan person so i love cheesecake flan <laughs> yeah. is secondary i love um yeah this uh, crema volteada which is a peruvian flan upside down type of thing but yes love are, that those are, those are want to try that let me know when that I'll let me know where that's you. available <laughs> awesome even better um and then the second thing um people should know is that i have a line that uh came out with stereotype co back in 2019 we're still out here we're still selling merch so please go and check it out stereotypeco.com backslash thoroughbred and basically, in short, it's a person of outstanding quality who's humbling their success. And I know you cop the shirt, so thank you so much for being oh, a supporter. You're welcome. And uh, let's let's put that out there for everybody else. Go and get yours. <laughs> yes. For those who don't know, take notes. Danny Ray is the thoroughest. So with that being said, be sure to support anything and everything she's doing, especially the gear. Super dope. Great quality. I'm your girl, Tori Indeed. Victoria A. Kiros. Danny Ray, you can follow her on all social media platforms. Yes.